So this is the second part of our talk, uh, neonatal skin rash. Uh, it includes uh, the talk about uh, hyperpigmented lesions, hypopigmented lesions, and vascular lesions. So birthmarks in general can be uh, divided into three parts, hyperpigmentation, hypopigmentation, and vascular or capillary lesions. Capillary lesions or vascular lesions can be divided into two parts, either malformations, which includes uh, nevus simplex, or the famous name salmon patch, and nevus flamus, which is the port wine stain. Here, the appearance is the same, but the site is the difference. And the hemangiomas, which has two parts, either the superficial one, which is the strawberry hemangioma, or the deep one, which is the cavernous hemangioma. So we'll mention this again. Birthmarks can be divided into three parts. Hyperpigmentation, we will mention the different types. Hypopigmentation, then vascular or capillary lesions. We have two types of capillary lesions, either malformations or hemangiomas. Malformations present in two forms which are identical in shape but different in sight. Nevus simplex or salmon patch and nevus flamus or port wine stain. While hemangiomas have two parts or two types, sorry, either deep, the cavernous hemangiomas or superficial, the strawberry hemangiomas. We will talk in details about each of these entities. Starting from hyperpigmented lesions. This is the typical Mongolian spot with its typical site, and this is one of the benign skin lesions. While this one also, although it has the same color, almost the same color, but this is called Nevus of Ota or Nevus of Ito. Once you see this, you have to know that it involves the orbital or zygomatic area. It does not fade with time. Uh, contrary to the Mongolian spot, which fades with time, and this one carries risk of glaucoma. So don't forget to consult your ophthalmologist. Again, hyperpigmented lesions. This is, yes, cafe au lait spots associated with neurofibromatosis, Albright syndrome, Turner syndrome, Noonan, and TCS. T sorry, TSC. Yes, these are congenital melanocytic nevi, either small, less than 1.5 cm, or intermediate, still less than 20 cm. They are common with low risk of malignancy. While the large, if more than 20 cm, and the giant ones, more than 40 cm, have high risk of malignancy congenital melanocytic nevi. Now we'll talk about hypopigmented lesions, includes the ash leaf macules and albinism. Other hypopigmented lesions, Addison's disease, biliary atresia, hepatic atresia, spro, porphyria, and idiopathic. The third category is the vascular or capillary lesions. We said we divide them into two parts, capillary malformation and capillary hemangiomas. Capillary malformation has two types, nevus simplex, the salmon patch, and nevus flamus, port wine stain. While the capillary hemangiomas have two types, either superficial, which is strawberry hemangioma, sorry, or deep, which is the cavernous hemangioma. Starting from the capillary hemangiomas. These are common lesions, the nevus simplex. These are common lesions localized in the midline. They spare mucous membranes and they fade with age and are asymptomatic salmon patch or nevus simplex. The second type of capillary malformation is the nevus flamus. 
or the port wine stain. It's localized unilaterally, contrary to nevus simplex, which is in the center. The color here is pink at the beginning, but it turns to red or red purple with time. The legions are usually localized on the head and may involve mucous surfaces. They never regress spontaneously, may be associated with Sturge Weber or Klippel Trainuni syndromes. Now, the other category, which is the hemangiomas, first type of it is the superficial hemangioma or strawberry hemangioma. Now, we need to know for the meantime that it initially enlarges in few months, then starts to regress at around one year of age and completely involutes at around five to seven years of age. Usually, these lesions are benign but sometimes it may undergo ulceration, infection, or involvement of the uh, eye or the upper airway, which uh, may put them in danger. There are uh, clear guidelines published in the literature about management of these uh, lesions, which is beyond the, scale, the scope of our lecture. The second type of capillary hemangiomas is the deep one where uh, it's called uh, cavernous hemangioma. Usually it's covered by normal skin and appears like blue. Again, this is, uh, these are my references and thank you.